The end is inevitable. That sounds like something Thanos would say. But I'm not Thanos. My name's Tigerwise. And this is Stray. It's kind of like when you get into a good series and then you get to the finale and you're like, oh man, that's it? I want so much more. That's what this feels like anytime I finish a game. But yeah, let's get back into it and finish off the game in style. <laughs> Let's follow the, uh, the hose. The electric line. What's that do for us? Nice little train ride. Hello, how may I help you? It's a very short train ride. At this point, we're almost near the surface. We just need to find the exit. We're almost at the surface. We just need to find the exit. That sounds nice. I wonder if our cat friends will be waiting for us. Well, this is a nice area. This is like what it should look like. Running around, checking everything out. How do I get out? Is there an exit sign? Something called the control room. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. Only humans are authorized to enter. Well, that's not good. It also says that I'm considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. If we work together, sure. Well done, B12. Huh. All right. Oh, oh, we got a little friend here. There we go. Okay, 
keep it coming. There we go. Oh wow, it just went right in place. I can't open this. What's going on here? Hmm. Let's give this a try. We'll open this. Yeah, we'll just scratch it all out. Just scratch out the wires. This is the control room for the entire city. It controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside, together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. All right. Oh, let's see. How do we get out of here? This is the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. So we need to turn the computers on. Oh, it looks like he's doing that. These long rows of computers need to be turned on. All the long rows of computers need to be turned on. Oh, how do we do that? C3, oh. Oh, you just gotta step on the keyboard. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. I destroy some stuff. Sounds good to me. What am I destroying? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, 
I see a whole bunch of computers with like power supplies. Look like they're they're sticking out. system is taking more than I expected. Oh no, we've got to keep going. All right. Well, there's one that went out. Oh, uh, let's see. No, we can't do anything with that one. I don't think there was any purpose in doing that. Oh, maybe there was. Oh, I see. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. All right, and then this one. There's something here. I think this little body is done for. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Carry him to the workstation. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity, to hold on to the past, but I see the future in companions and you. Here, let me take that off you. You are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you.
Oh, I thought we were going into another cutscene. Wow, look at that. Holy mackerels. The big hole in the ceiling. Well, we lost our friend. It's not good. So let's see, how do we get out of here? This room looks like it would smell funny. You know, those old rooms. You go into an old classroom or something and it stinks. It just smells old. That's what this looks like it would smell like. I think that's the only way we can go right now. See, so yeah, I think we're trying to get out of here. beautiful sunlight we're back outside That's an interesting ending. I, I would have I would have liked to see him uh, meet back up with his pack, but I guess not, huh? He's like, he stayed true to the name of the game, Stray. He stayed astray at the end of the game. That's kind of sad, though. I mean, he was all by himself. He didn't have anybody at the ends. He did all this work for the robots. It was a nice game though, definitely. Um, I was like, I, I love these type of games. Uh, it's just unusual, right? Like, um, who would ever imagine being a cat? Like. And I think it did pretty well um, mimicking a, a, a cat's life, I guess. Uh, just like the way you can hop on things and you got to actually start thinking like a cat, which it was pretty cool. You got to start looking at the ledges and say, oh, I can jump on that and that to get to that. It's pretty cool. Um, The robot, B12, uh, seemed like he was running the show once we ran into him. He was like telling the cat, like, oh, we need to do that, we need to do this. Well, I mean, that, that made the game better, in a sense, because now you could do more things. Um, I hated those sucker things. The blood-sucking things, man, those things, oof. Real bad. Um, oh yeah, I, I really didn't uh, think that I was gonna die in the game. Although the battle scenes weren't like intense or anything, the game was more like a 
It seemed more like it was a puzzle thing, like how how do you how are you gonna get out of this room or how do you pass this stage? Like what are you gonna jump on? Like what what little puzzle things are you gonna do to get through it? So it was really cool. I enjoyed that. This game was actually very similar to uh, Astro's Playroom. I think uh, this game is also considered a platformer, just like Astro's Playroom. And um, they're very, very, two very similar games, two very unusual games, two very good games to play, for sure. Well, yeah, I guess this is the end. Uh, thank you for, you know, rocking out with me and playing Stray. It's a pretty good game, in my opinion. <laughs>